Good morning, 6 o'clock here on this Tuesday morning. I'm Tom Durian, and Milwaukee Public School students will be heading to school on buses like me. They're getting ready here at Lamers uh, with the option of going maskless for the first time in more than two years into the COVID-19 pandemic. And so this morning we are bringing you live team coverage to lay out everything you and your family need to know about the changes that start today as you get your kids out the door this morning. Yeah. We mentioned we're at Lamers Bus Lines. They operate about 150 routes for the Milwaukee Public School District, including students who attend uh, schools all over the city. The buses have been here this morning getting ready, warming up, and the drivers uh, tell me that they'll continue to mask up if the district they're driving for, again, they drive for many different ones, require that. So that means drivers taking MPS students to school uh, right now this morning have the option of wearing a mask if they want to, just uh, like students and staff have that option. The bus company and school district say they will still have masks available for those who choose to continue to wear them. Now this change, of course, comes as positive COVID cases tick upward. Families and educators have mixed feelings about this as they make the transition. I'm a parent that have a sick child and some people don't have the vaccination, and that's dangerous. Two of them are very excited to leave their masks at home. Um, my oldest daughter says that she's going to wear a mask for a little while longer because that makes her feel more comfortable. All right, let's take a quick look at the latest COVID numbers here in Wisconsin. It finds our current seven day average is 672 cases per day. A month ago, it was 340, but it's uh, still a far cry from where we were in mid January at our peak. I asked Dr. Jeff Potoff of UW Health if he's concerned about the recent uptick in cases. I mean, we have seen a very slight uptick in cases over the last few weeks. If you go back a month ago, the seven day average was in the 300s and now it's uh, 626 on Friday. Should we be concerned about that? I think it's worth keeping an eye on. What we're hoping though, is that with uh, folks who are vaccinated and boosted, and also with those folks who are not vaccinated uh, in the really contagious Omicron surge we had in January, February, they may have some lasting immunity, at least against severe disease, uh, where cases might come up, but we won't see that later spike in hospitalizations and deaths uh, because as a community, we have more uh, immunity against COVID-19 right now than we did going into previous surges. All right, so Milwaukee Public Schools administration says they can reinstate this uh, mask requirement if COVID cases surge again. The district says 1.5% uh, of a school building would need to test positive for that to happen in the future.